Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today with the launch of Season 3 in Warzone in Modern Warfare 3, we obviously got our brand new seasonal weapons via the Battle Pass. They are available for free for anyone. If you go through, you get the Black Cell, you can get the special variants of it, but as just a base weapon, anyone can go through, grind out the sectors, and get the new FJX Horus SMG, and then also the new Moors Sniper Rifle. Those are our main two weapons here from the Season 2 Pass, and I've gone through, I've maxed out each weapon, used it a decent amount, tested it, found out the absolute best setup for each of them, and I wanted to break them down for you guys today. So we're starting first with the FJX Horus. Like I said, this is an SMG, and essentially what this is is the mp9 it really feels like it's more of an smg and pistol hybrid sort of a machine pistol if you will the thing is here its damage is not like absolutely insane or anything like especially with the nerfs that went into effect today i'd have to say the hmr9 is absolutely the number one smg it's not like neck and neck with that per se what this thing does have going for it though is some of the insane movement stats that you can create when you go through and build a certain setup here so for instance initially something i like to run on pretty much all my smgs right now is the zem 35 compensator uh it's going to help out with some horizontal control some vertical control it's also going to give you shorter radar ping so your red dot's going to disappear quicker. Obviously, it's not a suppressor, so you will show up on the map. It's only going to hurt your ADS speed by 5%, and we're at a 164 right now, which is not bad. I also go for the light barrel here. Speeds things up across the board with better movement speed, better tack sprint speed. That's something I'm taking note of there. Also helps out some with the vertical control, which is nice to see, but ADS and sprint to fire, that also gets boosted up there. Keep in mind, with all the attachments here, we've also got a 78 millisecond sprint to fire, which is pretty crazy as well. I got the DR6 hand stop. This was slightly nerfed with season three, but it's still ridiculously good for just any general mobility build here better movement strafe ads sprint to fire all feeling fantastic yet again extended mag here 48 is going to be your max and this thing does have a decent fire rate so like you are going to burn through this ammo 48 is somewhat limited here you're definitely going to have to be mindful of what your ammo is like and when you are reloading here because you're going to have to do it frequently and then lastly here, I go for the light stock because again, this helps out a ton with tax sprint speed. We've got some other good options here. 7.4 meters per second on the mobility with the tax sprint speed with the no stock, but light stock is a 7.6. It's not doing a ton to your recoil, helps out with your sprint to fire yet again. Like there's a lot of good mobility based stocks here. To me though, Ripper Light's the obvious choice for the perfect balance of even better movement and very minimal cons across the board. So we run those five attachments together. We get a very, very, very aggressive FJX Horus. Now, the base recoil on this thing, it's not going to be crazy. Keep in mind, the firing range does sort of exaggerate the muzzle smoke and the visual, uh, you know, bounce of it. But the pattern, it's pretty sporadic. It's something that is not going to be really viable outside of 10 to 15 meters, I would say. Like the first dummy here is at 10 meters. Pretty easy to stay on target. You get to that mid-range though, and especially because we are using an iron sight build here, it starts to become a little bit less and less viable. I would treat this gun exactly like you would the Wasp Swarm as a super aggressive close range option, but you can see our strafe speed here, pretty solid. Our attack sprint speed, you fly around at this thing. So while it doesn't have the craziest TTK or damage stats ever, in terms of mobility-based builds, if you're a fan of movement in this game, you like to finesse with attack sprint, the slide cancels, transition into, you know, jump shots and whatnot, this is a gun that's going to be phenomenal for a movement meta style build here for sure. Now, of course, the iron sights here, not incredible by any means. I'm not a huge fan of them. However, when I'm looking at this build, it's like, okay, do I want to use an MK3 reflector? Do I want to use, uh, you know, a slate or something? What am I going to replace that with? Regardless of what you choose here, you're going to be taking away from the setup in a substantial way, one way or another. You lose the stock, that's a lot of mobility out the window. You can't replace the Xenomag here in Warzone, of course. DR6 Handstop is still so clutch for movement as well, so you really got to pick your poison here and see what you value the most, whether it might be a little bit of movement speed and sprint to fire with the barrel. This is probably what I'd lean towards the most if you were to replace, uh, you know, anything for an optic, but regardless of what you do replace you're going to be lacking in one area uh this build in specific is very much so dedicated to going all in on movement and it works very very well for that now our second new weapon is the moore's sniper and as we get into this conversation quick reminder if you are new to the channel every day i got you covered with all things going on in cod news updates patch notes meta breakdowns it's all right here we obviously got uh rebirth out now so we'll be doing a top five for rebirth a general top 10 coming soon full-on meta breakdowns lots of very very important videos dropping in the next couple of days so if you want to guarantee you're up to date with everything be sure to
to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It's always really appreciated. But the Moors, you may recall, was an iconic sniper back from Advanced Warfare. Ridiculously good and fun back then. It brings the power this time around as well. I know your first question, what's going on at the one-shot capabilities? And I was in a dev call the other day, previewing season three, they confirmed this thing is going to behave just like the cat would. However, it's a little bit more aggressive than the cat. So in my opinion, it's gonna be a great balance between the stalker and the cat as a third viable sniper option that can one-shot headshot. All right, post-edit Zach here because I wanted to clarify a little bit on the one-shot capabilities. So initially, this will behave more like the stalker in the sense that it's effective damage range that you see on the screen that's where it's going to one shot headshot regardless now based on my gameplay testing and some other things that i've seen different clips of with other creators and whatnot if you do mess around at the photonic charge barrel it's giving it more damage and it seems like the one shot ranges could be extended out much much more it's just a lot more awkward to use because of like the charge time that it has with it so as far as being a universal one shot sniper while the devs in the dev call, as I mentioned there, said it was going to behave like the cat, it seems a little bit more limited to which attachments you're running on it. Personally, I prefer the more aggressive one that we're about to break down. Otherwise, you're going to crack armor, you hit that second shot, you'll get a quick knock there as well. As far as the setup goes here, I feel like it's relatively straightforward. Now, the base optic here, I'm a fan of. There are some cool attachments that are specific to the uh, Moors here. Like there is actually a Moors optic on one of the blueprints, but you could change out to various different scopes if you wanted to. For me though, the base optic, if we were to go into the firing range real quick here, this is a nice sniper scope for really any kind of gameplay. I don't know if I'd use this camo in game because it's kind of bright and, you know, distracting, but this works well. It's clean. It's got good zoom. So if you're fighting at 50 meters, you're going to be able to quickly get headshots and stay on target with this. If you're fighting at 200 meters, it's still got good zoom for that as well. So I go for the base default optic. I do go for the ton heavy barrel. Helps out velocity and idle sway here. Brings our velo just up over a thousand meters, which is great there. Uh, anything over a thousand for a sniper is going to be pretty consistent for the vast majority of fights you're going to get into. I do go for this skeletal vertical grip here, mainly because I want to try and speed up the ADS some. It's at 490 right now, which isn't great, but it's not awful by any means. It also helps out some with the gun kick, which I guess is nice. That's a nice little bonus. If you're spamming this back to back to back, you can get some, uh, some shots off easier there. Uh, but I just don't really feel the need to run ammo here or to run a laser or an optic so why not go for an underbarrel that speeds this up i'm also going for the super light 90 stock here's where i'm a little bit back and forth this speeds you up a ton great strafe good ads uh you know all around it's going to be way more aggressive the recoil gun kick that this introduces though is pretty rough so if you want something that's a little bit more uh easy to use consistently just the base light stock would be good obviously there's a pretty drastic difference in mobility benefits here but it still would be viable here to switch between the two uh really this all in a mobility but rough like kick whenever you shoot this is decent mobility still speeds up the ads nice uh but it's not going to be nearly as noticeable whenever you're shooting how much you're flinching and how much you're moving away from your target so just pick your poison there what you value more i do have the quick bolt just behind the face cam here i'll go ahead and hide that so we go back to that main screen you can get your attachment screenshot this is just for rechambering speed get your shots off faster pretty self-explanatory there there's all five attachments in one if you're looking for that screenshot i do use the op 980 grip on here as well well, just for a better ADS speed mainly on there the other options here aren't really doing it for me so the attachments here are a bit more limited uh just because you pretty much want to build out snipers in a very direct way to begin with but with what we got here this is a great competitive sniper option that absolutely makes its way into the general sniper meta so great news there all around but that being said those are our two new season three weapons here in warzone and the best setups for them if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new here you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with news updates patch notes meta breakdowns and all other things going on in cod be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day i'll catch you later peace out